Hey, so this is Caramel, and this is your daily download. You can go to beingandbecoming.life. Yep, that's it, beingandbecoming.life. Dub, 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 beingandbecoming.life to find out more about me and where I'm coming from. Right now, I have a question for you, for you women, first of all, and I have a question for men next. Women, what if you were raised with the idea, the belief, the notion, the fundamental fact and understanding within your own innate psychology of self that you have the capacity within you to be a stargate, a portal through which life enters this planet? What if you were raised knowing that inside of you, in your natural, instinctual, primal self, that you have to do nothing whatsoever to activate, it's already there. What if you were raised knowing that you are a creator? How would life be different if you knew that you were a creator? A creator of life. You create something out of nothing. What if you were raised knowing this is true about you? What if you were raised knowing <laughs> that God lives inside of you? You can call it goddess. You can call it nature, creator. You can call it whatever you like. But what if you were raised knowing that that is inside of you? That is who you are at the core of your being. And that, that means that you are powerful beyond measure because you literally can create something out of nothing. Now, we could just be talking about babies. That's big enough, right? But we're not just talking about babies because not every woman on the planet is called to have children, all right? I personally didn't know if I would ever have a child. I tried my whole life to make a baby. The only time I actually got pregnant and actually had a baby was when I stopped trying. So, what if you knew that you didn't have to do anything apart from live your life, be you, get in alignment with your source connection and live life as you, doing you, being you in the world today? What if you grew up knowing that you are God, that you are the creator, that your body is a portal, a stargate? through which humans enter planet Earth. Now, men, what if you knew and you were raised knowing that your seed is what activates the codes inside the woman that turns her body into a stargate? What if you were raised knowing that you are the powerful, almighty activator of the creation of life and that you are necessary and that without your woman, you cannot be the creator that you are. Just like women, you cannot be the creator that you are without your men. Now, I'm not just talking gender-wise here as far as sexual preferences go, whatever. I'm talking about the masculine and the feminine that lives inside each of us. On some level, we have it all inside of us. To make life happen and to activate it at this time, as far as we know, we need an egg and we need a seed. It doesn't matter what sexual orientation of relationship you're in, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how life is created. What if we were raised knowing how powerful we are? What if we were raised knowing that we can turn something into nothing just by being ourselves? It could be a business, it could be a piece of artwork, it could be whatever you want it to be. The building of a house, <laughs> it could be a whole community, it could be a whole civilization. But when you give birth to a baby, for example, you don't just give birth to a baby. 
you give birth to a whole generation of family. You give birth to mothers, no, sorry, you give birth to the mother inside of you, you give birth to a father, you give birth to grandmothers and grandfathers, to brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews and aunties and uncles, you give birth to friends, you give birth to schools, you give birth to communities of all sorts. You're a creator. You are God. It's not outside of you. It's inside of you. Everything you've been looking for is inside of you. What if we were raised being told that we're God? I don't mean this egotistically. You know the old saying that we've got, oh, that guy walks around thinking he's God. Yeah, that's a level of 3D kind of energy. I know the kind you're talking about. I know women like that too. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the energy of the creator that lives inside of you and can create anything it wants to. It can create health and wealth and flow and art and love. It can create whatever it wants. You are who you've been waiting for. Short and sweet message. The, 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 the piece inside it that we seem to be a little bit hooked up on is that we don't totally believe that we're as creative as what we are. We don't totally believe that we're as powerful as we are because we haven't been raised in an environment that is prepared to trust that when we're left to our own devices, we will find that which makes us who we really are, that which makes us powerful. I'm raising two little kittens right now and I've created a safe space for them. And inside that safe space, inside the house, they can run rampant and do what they like. My job is just to hold space and I've learned so much just observing them. And I learned one fundamental thing already. They look identical apart from a look in their eyes. It's a little bit different and the shape of their chin. It's a little bit different. But I named them judging the faces and he I judged as an extroverted mischief maker rascal kind of a cat. And her I judged as a queenly kind of um, ah, sweet little mellow introverted needing protection kind of cat. They're both completely the opposite. <laughs> completely and utterly the opposite. He's the introvert, she's the extrovert. They've taught me already, do not judge anything by its cover. Do not make assumptions. We can't do that in the world at this time. We might have got away with it in the past, but we cannot do it now. What we can do now is remember that inside each and every single one of us is one half of creation. And we need the codes. We need the activator to turn that power on. And we have to work together, unite together. We can't have the masculine without the feminine. We can't have the feminine without the masculine. We need both. We need both. There's no two ways about it. There's no feminine rising. Let's um, make the world be run by the feminine. There's no the masculine patriarchy needs to keep leading the way because without it, the women will just get crazier about it. No, we need both. One without the other, <laughs> things go a little crazy. The other without another, things just die off. You know what I'm talking about. We need both. You are the creator. The creator lives inside of you. I'm Carmel. If you want to find the creator that lives inside of you, I'd love to hold space for you so you can find the creator inside of you. www.beingandbecoming.life You can find out more about what I'm doing and I'll hold a container where we can just explore you. Who are you? Who's the you you're giving birth to at this time? Because we also birth ourselves over and over and over again. Reinvent yourself. Now's the time. The energies, the frequencies on the planet, they're so conducive to you doing you more than they've ever been. You're so powerful.